Alice hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Good morning, Wallaby Dick. How are you? And welcome to another episode of Tazcast. Here with cousin Jack. Wait. How are you this morning? Alright, so a bit cold, bro. Right? Yes. Last time Jack was down for a session with me, he landed his first stripey. So we're back chasing them again today on the east coast down in Bishano. Uh, hopefully we can bend like Beckham. I've got a new jigging rod that I'm going to try out, which I'm really excited for. So we're going to mark up, bait up, jig up, and get fishy. Possibly a Maui. Had a couple of little head shakes there, didn't you? Bring him up. Well, you're on the board with a table fish for the day. I mean, a little boy, but. Nice little Maui. 25 centimeters. We don't need him. No. Nah, I reckon he's going back. back. Yeah. Oh, well, you'll get there. <laughs> that's right, stripey next. Yeah, that's great. All right, stop there. I'll try and work out the drift onto it. Mm -hmm. Drop. I uh, just gotta see which way we're gonna drift. Oh. Can you hit record on that GoPro? Can you hit record on that GoPro? This one? Yeah. I thought that was looking a bit fishier then. Hey, swap to a 120 gram. Oh God. Come on, settle down, mate. It's not very big, but... I was up about 10 meters from the bottom then. Come up, buddy. Alrighty, there's a trumpeter. New beauty on the cheek. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. not. I don't reckon his size. We're gonna hit 55 centimeters as our legal size for these guys. <laughs> we'll have a look. Nice one. First trumpeter of the morning on the 120. Yeah, boys. I don't reckon it's quite legal. She's quite small. 55 is what we're aiming for. And that is a 53. Unfortunately, she's going back, but thanks for the play. Great on the 120 gram. This one's going back. At least we're on the board for today on the 120 gram jig. See you, buddy. The little 120 streaker. That'll do the job. See if we can find him again. Woo! Yeah. Come on, Nutter, bring him up. Don't go in reverse, you're pretty much directly behind the motor. What do you want? Oh, I was just telling. Earlier. Pardon? You did that earlier. Oh, did you? These two. Oh, Sam hooked up and brought Nutter up with him. And I was reversing up trying to stay on top. <laughs> Nulla. Bring him in! Bring him in! Oh, his size for sure. Woo! Yeah, boys! That's not a bad size stripey from the pirate. I'd say that. Oh. Pity it was on bait. <laughs> 76, I think. 76. Well done. Better got more of those today. How many of you guys bags now? Um, six. Well, seven. Six or seven. Beautiful. Yeah. So a couple more for today. We'll see how we go. You be guilty. Okay, time to try something a little bit different again. I've rigged up a butter knife with a couple of hooks on it. It would be the ultimate dream to catch a stripey on this rig. <laughs> so I'm gonna drop it down, we're in 50 meters of water, and we'll see if we can do something with it. 
let's uh, let's give it a crack. What is that? Oh. What? Oh. What? This is waking up. Is that a Maui? We're gonna. Oh. It's got a bit of a fight on it, whatever it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. A Maui on a butter knife. Not too bad. Dare I say that this is another Moe on the knife, the knife jig, literally. It's got a bit of a shake. Yeah, that's another Moe on the butter knife. I can't believe it's working. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's a big one. Another legal size Maui too. <laughs> Grab the jig in it. On the butter knife. Maui's on the butter knife. I cannot believe that that is working. Just a little bit of a slow sit there, a fast retrieve. Bam. Catching fish on an everyday butter knife. Yeah. It's so funny, hey? Can't believe it works. <laughs> Crazy. This new combo is so nice to use. Oh, hello, Mr. Moe on the butter knife. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, the old butter knife trick. How about it? It's working a treat. Okay, we are back in my garage, my very messy garage, and unfortunately, that day on the water didn't go so well. After catching those Moe's on my little knife jig, um, it went quiet, it went really quiet. We got that one stripey, abundance of mummies that we threw back and ocean perch absolutely everywhere. Either way, it was a fantastic day on the water with a very small weather window and now it looks like we've got a couple of weeks ahead of us of just terrible weather. So I wanted to take the opportunity now to talk to you guys about the importance of the IMAS fish frame collection program. So. Just here behind me, I have some fish frames that I'm going to be heading down to Tamer Marine with to donate to IMAS. Before I do that, I would just like to say thank you so much to everybody that has purchased a Tazcast hoodie or a Tazcast shirt. We have raised $230 in profits to donate to the Institute of Marine and Antarctic Studies. So thank you very much for supporting Tazcast and IMAS across Tasmania. Uh, as you can see behind me, there's still a couple of hoodies and a couple of shirts left. We also have a very exciting announcement soon of some really cool designs that I'm looking forward to showing off with you guys. And I honestly think it's going to make really great casual wear or fishing wear. So if you're interested, follow me on Instagram because we're going to be uh, showing them off there first. So after a very recent trip to the West Coast, I managed to get lucky on some Stripe Trumpeter. And I'm going to save these frames and head down to Tamer Marine because they are a drop point for IMAS's Fish Frame Collection Program. How is that for a jig? 800 grams. If you guys want to see an episode of me dropping this in what do you reckon you could drop it in? 500 meters of water? Oh, yeah. Some 5-0s? 
comment down below. Now this program is doing some really incredible research for our fish stocks across Tasmania. What happens is they'll analyze the fish frames, they'll diagnose the age of the fish, which will give them really important information about the stocks, whether or not they spawn here, how old they are. So for the better of our fishing environment and for the future of our fishing in Tasmania, it's a really great program to donate these frames to so we can assess our stocks properly and have fish to catch in the future. So if you are out and about catching some fish or you bag out before throwing those fish frames overboard, I highly recommend hanging onto them. IMS are looking for yellowtail kingfish, King George whiting, snapper, striped trumpeter, and sand flathead. So any of those species, hold onto them. Another interesting fact is that there are two types of whiting in Tasmania. There are east and north. And it's also now been confirmed that they are spawning down south. Anyway, a very fantastic initiative for the Fish Frame Collection Program. If you have the ability, guys and girls, donate your frames before throwing them overboard. It's a fantastic initiative. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and comment down below any facts that you know about any species or stocks across Australia or Tasmania, because knowledge is power, and sharing these facts about our ocean for conservation reasons is very important. All right, I'm out. Let's get fishing.